How's it going everyone? Jaxie got another easy one for you. Another what edition to buy and today we are covering Sandland. Now if you're thinking about buying Sandland, there is a demo to try first on most platforms, but with a release date of the 26th of April 2024, let's get into it. Firstly is the Standard Edition, and with the Standard Edition is of course just the game, but we do have a pre-order bonus, which is three survivalist camo packs for your vehicles. And these can be applied to all customizable vehicles in the game. This pre-order bonus comes with the digital version and also the physical version in most places, but always be sure to check with your rewards when you buy from a store, because sometimes they can all be a bit different. With just the pre-order bonus, the standard edition is coming in close to a AAA price. Next is the Deluxe Edition. And with the Deluxe Edition, you will be receiving the pre-order bonus as well if purchased early, but we'll also get a Speed Demon Pack, which is coming with six consumables and tank weapons. You're also getting decals, which are five tank stickers, and some housing DLC, which when expanded on says a My Room Furniture Set Army Base and Hideout. The consumables are a bit of a hard one to judge here because are they just a one-time use or a permanent buff or a timed buff? Because if they are one-time use, there's really no, not really any value here. But the tank weapons and the housing DLC is I think what's going to be the grab for the Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition is coming in roughly $10 more than the standard, so not the very high price of the usual Deluxe Edition. Next, we do have a Collector's Edition. And with this, you are receiving everything previously mentioned with the pre-order bonus and Deluxe Edition, but also getting a Steelbook case. Been top competition this year for Steelbook cases, but this is hanging with the best so far. As well as the Steelbook, you are getting a postcard set. And also the main event is normally a statue, but Sandland are doing a figurine. That by itself is expected to be around 10 centimeters tall, but it does look like you're getting a rock stand for it to be placed like a statue if you wish. The collector's edition is coming in at a heavy price. Sandland definitely has a lot of loyal fans, so I don't think this collector's edition is going to struggle to sell. But if you ask asking me, if I'm looking to dive into Sandland, the standard edition is probably going to be what I'm going to get. But I will most likely try the demo first. The deluxe edition is good because it's not the normal high, high price for deluxe edition, and it's got a few goodies in there. But again, I think the standard is what's going to get me. All right, guys, hopefully I've been able to help with that one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!